Welcome to Slaying Excel Dragons video number 41. Hey, these are the videos that accompany the book, and we're still in chapter 6 talking about pivot tables. We need to talk about blanks or text in number fields and what kind of trouble this causes. Let's go over to our Excel workbook. Excel is fun start. You can download it by clicking on the link below the video or getting it from the DVD. All right, we're on the sheet PT Data 3. And you've heard me say so many times before through numerous chapters that how data is stored and how it's set up is very important. Field names in the first row, records in rows. And you always hear me saying, but no, and no blanks. Well, if there's a blank and actual piece of raw data, it doesn't totally prohibit you using the data analysis features. In fact, we've already seen how we can get around blanks with sort. But with pivot tables, it can cause some weird default behavior. So let's go ahead and run a pivot table and see if we can uh, do products and uh, sales. So all we want to do is add up all the sales for products. I'm going to click in one cell and then Alt NVT. That is our uh, keyboard shortcut that I've been using the whole time. And then I'm going to click OK. Actually, it's when you get the hang of it, it's Alt NVT Enter. And on a new sheet, I'm immediately going to call this uh, Pivot Table 3. I'm going to drag Product to the Row Label and Sales to the Values. The only thing it does is it's seeing that blank and thinking that it's text. And so by default, it's programmed to use the count function. So it's counting how many sales. So the trick is, if you really want to keep that blank, you have to come right click, value field settings, and then change the function from count to sum. Remember, count counts non-empty cells, and count numbers counts numbers. I'm going to change it to sum and then click OK. So that's the way you get around that. The other trouble, and now we're going to go to PT data. And here we have our data set. And we're going to run a pivot table. Everything looks OK. I don't see any blanks, right? But we're all going to go ahead and run a pivot table and try to group these dates. Alt NVT Enter. I'm going to immediately drag the date down to the row labels. Now I'm looking over here. Immediately I can see there is a problem here, 610. So it's not sorted correctly. This comes from the fact that we have a problem with our raw data. Back in Chapter 4, we learned there's different types of data, like text, numbers, uh, true, false, errors. Those are different things that can go in cells. And so when it's not sorted correctly, it means there's some. And we saw this in our sort, right? Um, text and numbers get sorted differently. So we, we see this date out of place. But no problem. Let's imagine you didn't see that. I'm going to right click and go to Group. Immediately you see this meshes cannot group. You know there's a data mismatch. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to actually right click and delete this sheet, the whole pivot table. Delete. And I'm going to come over. My first instinct always when I see something like that is to look at the column. And I'm going to expand the column width. And as we learned back in Chapter 3, very important visual cue. Text is aligned to the left. Numbers are to the right. So I'm going to put this into edit mode. And maybe it was formatted as, as text or imported, uh, and it had text format. But here we have a lead apostrophe, which of course forces stuff entered to be thought of as text, not a date. So when I remove it, boom, now we have a date again, a serial number. You could also check, remember the keyboard shortcut control shift tilde, or grave accent, to look and see, yes, these are in fact serial numbers under there, which lie under real dates. I'm going to Control Z, double click. Now I'm going to create my pivot table, Alt NVT, Enter. And I'm going to drag the date. And I can right click, Group. And there we go. So now we're allowed to group. I'm going to say years and months. There we have our years and months. Maybe drag uh, units over here. So there are two common problems when uh, you have data mismatch in pivot tables. Sometimes if you have text in a date column, you cannot group and things won't sort correctly. Other times if you have blanks, by default, uh, count function will be used instead of sum. I better 
double click and name this PT4 before we go. All right, we'll see you next video.